Thanks so much for staying with us, everyone. The Mississippi Sound Coalition, made up of counties and cities on the coast, along with business leaders and scientists, say the Corps of Engineer a Corps of Engineers, when they opened Louisiana's Bonnie Carey Spillway, it's destroying sea life and the environment here in Mississippi. The coalition is fighting the Corps in court, and lead attorney Robert Weigel is right here, right now. Robert, I had uh, Joe Blessy on a couple weeks ago, and we talked yeah. about this, but you since have gone back to court, uh, federal court on this one. Tell us a little bit about, with, in layman's terms, this latest yeah. kind of legal action. What does it mean? Sure. We have a statute called the Marine Mammal Protection Act, David, that says that nobody is supposed to harm or kill marine mammals. So we have a bottlenose dolphin population here in the Mississippi Sound. And one thing that we know for sure, when the Bonnie Carey Spillway is open for a long time, things die, and that includes those bottlenose dolphin. Well, I mean, it's just destroyed our oyster uh, business uh, in Pasquary and those oyster beds have never come back and the seafood industry uh, in general. I want to ask you, why is the core so stubborn, set in their ways, you know, unimaginative? David, the core's position is they just don't have any option except to operate the spillway the way that they've always but that's operated not true. it. And we know that's not true. That is correct. And what we have to do is step up and show them why that is not true in court. And is it just doing. the bureaucratic nature of the Corps where they say our flood control plan to, to, to save New Orleans is this and they can open, we've talked about yes. this, Morganza, that spillway and push the water west into the Atchafalaya Basin and they have, but they kind of keep going to Bonnie Carey. Yeah, the Corps is very much stuck in their ways, and I can't tell you the exact reasons for that. But our job is to get them off of that, being stuck in their ways. There are ways that we can minimize what impact the Bonnie Carey Spillway has on the Mississippi Sound, but we got to take the first step to do it. And we went to court to do exactly that. Does going to court slow things down, though, more than just good old-fashioned negotiations and, and talking and getting our uh, federal delegation and even Governor Reeves and other state leaders involved? You know, we're certainly doing all those things, but David, I can tell you, we went to the Corps of Engineers and said, let's sit down and talk about what's happening to the bottlenose dolphin and how we could fix that. And they just said, no, thank you. How engaged, we've seen that you know, step up, I think. I'm not so much on the state level. I'd like to see the governor and other state leaders get more involved, but it seems like Sen our senators and Congressman Mikey Zell is at all your meetings, or many of your meetings, they seem to have stepped up to the plate. I hope it's not just rhetoric on their part. No, I think that everybody from the local governments that really stepped up and started this in the first place, to the congressional delegation, to the delegation in Jackson, state leaders um, like the lieutenant governor, everybody is on board in this. This is a bipartisan, everybody agrees about it issue. All hands on deck. Uh, and that from scientists to people in the tourism industry uh, to environmentalists, uh, the seafood industry uh, having been killed by this. And, and Robert, I always like to bring this up too. People always say freshwater intrusion. We know that that's not true. The Mississippi River is so polluted from agriculture interests up in the Midwest and right on down to uh, Louisiana, I mean, it's, it, the water's corrupted. David, we're gonna have to look upstream ultimately to cut down on that nutrient pollution in the river because that is a big piece of our problem. When you put the nitrogen and the phosphorus that comes out of the Midwest into the Mississippi Sound, what you get is toxic algae blooms. And that's a big chunk of our problem. So we've gotta look upstream as well. And what about the different uh, federal layers? You have the U.S. Corps uh, involved in this, as we've already talked about, the Corps of Engineers. Uh, you've got the uh, uh, Commerce Department also involved in this. You do, the National Marine Fisheries yeah, Service. the National Marine. Who's, who's, who makes the final decision on that federal level? You know, ultimately, the Corps of Engineers has responsibility for operating that structure. But the Department of Commerce and the National Marine Fisheries Service, they can tell the Corps, 
here's what the good science is, and here's what you need to do to stop having these terrible impacts on the Mississippi Sound. And we have other allies because not only the Mississippi Sound, but when that water uh, goes through uh, Lake Pontchartrain and makes it down into southeastern Louisiana, it also destroys yes. their fisheries. No, those folks suffer as well. And so, look, this is a coalition of anybody that wants to protect the resources that we have out there. And it's critical for us to step up and start doing that. Besides just the uh, Bonnie Carey Spillway, though, there are other projects going on in Louisiana uh, that concern people in southeastern Louisiana. Uh, what is it, Mid-Britain? Mid-Britain is yeah. one of the diversions there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what do you say to folks who think you can somehow manage the Mississippi River and somehow divert without consequences Here's build levees without consequences and, and all of those kinds of things. Well, on the Mid-Breton Diversion, we, there is nobody that is more in favor of rebuilding Louisiana Marsh than the Mississippi Sound Coalition and the people in it. But you cannot do these things without looking at the negative impacts that you're going to have. You have to be realistic about what you're doing, and you can't make Mississippi and fishermen in southeastern Louisiana suffer without taking that into account. So what's the next step? We're out of time, so just tell us where do we go. To, it's back in front of Judge Garola? It is back in front of Judge Lewis Garola, and it will proceed according to the schedule of things due in court, and we're looking forward to presenting that case. All righty. Well, Robert, keep up the good fight. Uh, it's the Mississippi Sound Coalition. Uh, thanks so much for being with us and getting us up to speed. Always a pleasure, David. Yeah.